Mike Still here for Bison's TV, proudly presented by The Hub. Here with fifth-year captain Connor Boyd. Connor, how's it going? Really well. Doing well, thanks. Let's just talk about the team for, first. I mean, you're in your fifth year. You're a captain on this team. You've known the guys, uh, this veteran roster for a while now. I mean, what did it mean to you guys to have such a strong show and a second-place finish at Ken West and improving your points total by, by quite a bit? As a fifth year, I don't think we could have asked for anything better. We've seen some years coming to Ken West. It's after a long streak of a number of meets back to back and people can get hurt and they're sore and they're tired. Um, so we haven't seen the performances we always want. And then this year, everybody, every, it clicked and everybody came together and we just had an amazing meet to finish off the, the season. Individually in the 1000, you've struggled with injuries in the past, but uh, had an unbelievable showing yourself there and the team as well. I think five people in the top 10, including Simone, uh, who had a first place finish uh, and you were fifth place, I believe. Talk to me about how it felt to uh, sort of, I would say almost get the monkey off your back in a sense. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, the thousand was pretty early on in the meet. It was Friday afternoon, so it, it, not much had happened. And then for us to come out and for Simone to bring home that gold and for us to have four of the top eight scoring points, uh, and you know, five in the top 10 was just a, for us in the, that race, it was just such a good kickoff to, to the meet and to get that kind of attitude and that competitive level in. Um, and it just set the stage for the rest of the meet, we felt like, and uh, I think that showed up well. Everybody was performing well over the weekend. And the four by eight team, I mean, you guys, I believe are ranked first in the nation at the moment yeah. um, and took home the gold again at Cannes West. Uh, just talk to me about this group and yeah, wh why you guys are so successful together. We just have found our footing with each other. Uh, me and Shep have been running together since we were kids and Simone we've been running together with for years and we're all friends and uh, we just know, we said before the line that we knew that it was going to be a lot of hard work to win but we all are used to putting in that work and we know what it takes to win um, and so to just kind of get there and really put uh, money where our mouths are kind of thing, we just really put the action in so we felt great about that race. We got nationals coming up on our home track here, March 7th to 9th. 4x8 relay team will be in, in full force uh, at yeah. that event. Uh, let's just talk about the advantages of, of being at home. You get to sleep in your own bed, train on a bank track, which is yeah. an advantage for us. Um, are those kind of the two biggest things or anything else that really sticks out about being I, able to host? I think being at home, being with the spies and sports teams here, having the support of everybody at home, there's no better feeling than running on your own track. You don't have to travel anywhere. Like you say, we get to sleep at home, get to eat our own food. But at the same time, to be able to show up into you know the place that you've trained in for the last five years, and to now have it kind of be transformed into this amazing uh, experience with all these different schools is just going to be uh, something we don't get rarely or ever in the you know five years I've been here, and to then use that energy to just have uh, hopefully a great great meet. Last question for you. We're coming up now towards the end of your career, obviously, and obviously a great way to cap it off at home, but what are you feeling uh, as, as you get to closer to the state? It's definitely a little bittersweet. I mean, track's always been such a big part of my life. At the same time, however, I think uh, all great things have to come to an end eventually, and I was talking about it with some of the other people on the team, and I don't think there's any better way uh, to end a career than to end it at home and trying our best to get bring home a gold medal in that 4x8. So r really, if this is the end of the track and field career, then this is a great end and I'm happy about it. Well, Connor, thanks so much for all your contributions to Bison Sports, uh, both athletically as well as in the community and uh, all the best uh, as we get close to the Nationals. Thank you very much.